I'm ready. Are you ready? That's the question. Are you ready for Tech Update to be back? Because it's back. Oh, God, I hate you already. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Uh, welcome to Tech Update, and uh, now being very thankfully underwritten by the fine people at uh, Tiger Direct. We're back. In fact, in fact, the new deal, here's the new deal, all right? <laughs> The new deal is uh, you get to watch Tech Update on Facebook first, okay? Uh -huh. so, on Tiger Direct's Facebook. Yeah, on, on the Tiger Direct, Facebook.com slash Tiger Direct, and then, uh, maybe a day later, then you can watch it on the rest of the internet. But for now, it is an exclusive for the people on Facebook. So that means you have to add us on Facebook or add Tiger Direct, Direct on Facebook. Yeah, I don't know how this works. Just get, uh, just get on Facebook and, and, and be a fan of Tiger Direct, then you can watch, then you can be the first to watch Tech Update. It's quite, quite the fringe benefit for being a fan of, of the, the face page. Quite, quite a huge benefit. Big selling point there. So uh, anyway, Tech Update is here. If you're not familiar with the show, we've been in hibernation for a little while. Uh, and uh, really what we do is we just kind of bring in some, some tech news. We tell you what's going on in the, in the technology news and gadget world. Basically. And then I sit here and make Albert upset. I'm already and, upset. <laughs> and that's really all there is. We were in hibernation, we were gone for a while, and I'm back. And, and I, I realize now why hate you so much. <laughs> because I'm a fun guy. You're too let's jump, fun. Let's do this. Uh, first story I've got, out of the box. Uh, everyone's been, been talking about, is there going to be like a Microsoft phone, right? Like not the Windows Mobile. Zune phone. Yeah, Zune phone. Because yeah, people, people have a tendency to really dislike Windows Mobile, but they really like the Zune interface, right? So they're like, well, why can't my phone Especially be the new Zune, like Zune, you know, Zune HD. Right. So it turns out that it looks like the Zune phone is going to uh, debut at the MWC, and it's apparently going to be using this NVIDIA Tegra stuff, so it's going to be like wicked fast graphics and gaming. What and is the MWC? The, I don't know. It just says it at, at the top of the blog. MWC. <laughs> it's uh, probably the Microsoft World Conference, maybe. Okay. I, it's just a guess. I don't know if that's actually it, but... Can I get a fact check on that? Anybody? <laughs> no? So it's going to use Tegra. Yeah, it's going to use the Tegra platform. 480 by 272 screen, HDMI out. It's going to be light. It's going to be hot like uh, the Zune HD. That, that'll probably mean that you'll be able to hook up your phone to a big TV and put some 1080p video up on your TV yes. from your phone. Yes, because that's what the Tegra's known for. It's known for being able to decode <coughs> hardcore video, right? That's pretty cool. So there you go. And uh, also, this is huge news, all uh -huh. right? Everybody's been talking about it. Everybody's been uh, all excited about this. The, the anticipation has been ramping up for months and months and months. And MSI has officially shown off their new Tegra-based tablet PC. <laughs> they have an Android-powered Tegra uh, uh, package. It's, it's going to be a tablet. And you're going to be able to do all the stuff. You know, everyone's been talking about the iPad. It's, it's, I'm <laughs> so over it. There's, there's a couple of others that are out there right now. Uh, the MSI one is actually one that we got to play with at CES. Yes. And is actually incredibly cool. It was cool. Uh, runs all the Android software that's out there. And so that's coming. And then also, Asus uh, decided they didn't want to be late to this party. Mm. All right. They yeah. sort of led the charge when it came to the netbooks, right? Like they're kind of the inventor of they, the netbooks. They are. The EPC was the first. Uh, they have also announced they are going to have a Tegra powered tablet as well. That's awesome. So we should have lots and lots of uh, really high powered small computing devices coming in the very near future. Let's hope they bring it to market faster than the uh, e keyboard. Which has been, they've been talking about for approximately a year almost, and a half almost now. Almost a year, yeah. yeah. The, first the first time first we saw it was CES a year ago. Yeah, oh, nine. Yeah. It's been a bit much. Um, check this out. This is really funny. It's called the White Goat. And what this thing does, I mean, you're looking at this huge, I love, huge machine I, right I loved here. them in the 80s. White yeah, Goat. Right, White Goat. I was a huge fan. <laughs> went, to, went to a number of their shows, followed them around, toured with them for about three weeks. This is, this is a $100,000 machine for, that's going on sale in Japan right now. Basically, what it does is it turns all your recycled paper, all, all your waste paper in the office into toilet paper. Sounds so pleasant. Basically, uh, what they're saying is it's going to save you about 60 trees a year. And in 30 minutes, it will turn 40 sheets of office paper into a roll of toilet paper, and you can pick what color you want the toilet paper to come out, blue, green, pink. Does it, does yeah. it seem silly to spend 100000 a year to, to save 60 trees? Does it seem weird that they can make toilet <laughs> paper out of... How, <laughs> how, much, what's, how much toilet paper can you buy for $100,000? A lot. I could supply an entire country with toilet paper for $100,000 for a full year, I think. I guess this is like concept so, okay. stuff. So you spend $100,000, okay, you save... 
60 trees. <laughs> yeah. Which I think most people may have that many trees within 100 yards of their house. And this thing is like the size of a school bus. It's so. the size of a, <laughs> it's the size of a of a 1980s supercomputer. <laughs> and but you get to pick your toilet paper color. Hey, it's it's genius. What can I say? Um, a couple news on uh, new products that are coming out. Okay. Really cool stuff. We saw this at CES. This is a cool one. Uh, Kodak just came out with a new waterproof, you know, little flip cam kind yes. of deals. This is the first one that's 1080p progressive scan. Uh, it's got the 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 vibration killer. You know, sometimes those things are kind of shaky. Stabilization. Stabilization. They call that. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got a wider lens. And then oh, it's... I like vibration killer better. Yeah. This the new Kodak yeah. with vibration killing technology. Killer. <laughs> <laughs> um, but. But, you know, fully waterproof and, and an eight-hour battery. It can be submerged for eight hours. Sorry, not eight-hour battery. Very nice. Very cool. Um, and I then want to be able to take video when I'm in, like, the bathtub. One more really cool um, item. It's not out yet, but we did see this at, well, you didn't see it at CES, but I saw it. It's called the UL80JT Laptop by okay. ASUS. Now, get this. It has a Core i7 uh, processor in it from Intel. It's Fast. got an NVIDIA GeForce 310 GPU fast uh, LED LCD screen great battery now get this okay estimated battery life in this thing is 12 hours with the core i7 Wow and supposedly it has to do with better than the iPad uh, yeah it's better than the iPad which is with a it's one a core i7. it's a core i7 super powerful My basically God. they have some sort of processor or some sort of software that uh, throttles the processor down so far that basically to nil to nothing it okay. almost turns it off when you're it's not, not using in it use. and at 12 hours I mean that's that sounds like you know netbook with a big battery but with a you know Core i7 is pretty impressive. So very cool. Now this is something that I feel like kind of slipped through the cracks at CES among all of the amazing 3D technology uh -huh. and all this stuff. And uh, since we haven't done a tech update since CES and we weren't able to do a feature on this, I, I just have to talk about this. Have you seen the RCA Power Harvester? No. You haven't. No. Okay. The RCA Power <laughs> Harv Harvester is a harvester. Hav the harvester is a Wi-Fi power sucker. Okay? Follow me. Okay. The Wi-Fi creates RF all around us, right? Uh -huh. So you've got radio waves vibrating through your body at all times. All around us, radio waves vibrating everywhere, okay? okay? Now, what if you could take a device and harvest those vibrations and turn them into electricity, man? What if you could do that? Sounds pretty then wild. Then you could, like, control the universe. RCA... <laughs> has actually developed a working device uh -huh. that simply, you, you simply plug this thing into your phone, little USB uh -huh. dongle, and it's got a little box about this big, and you lay it there, and that thing captures Wi-Fi energy, turns it into electricity, and charges your device. You don't even have to plug it in. Swear to God, this is real. This is, this is not made up. This is not fantasy. This is a working device that charges your gizmos from Wi-Fi in the air around you. So obviously the question that you have to Checkmate, ask is... Checkmate, RCA. Uh, Good job. How long, how long does it take to charge your, your phone? Approximately three days. <laughs> but, I don't know. I really don't know how long. Uh, it, uh, I, I, you'd think I would research something like that uh, <laughs> no. beforehand, it's but... Uh, uh, it. Uh, uh, I don't know. It takes 34.5 <laughs> years to charge a BlackBerry battery, <laughs> is what this says, apparently. That's pretty funny. Yeah. And also, uh, I, I know I'm, I'm sort of stepping on your toes. I don't know, but I, I, don't, I wasn't sure if you, if you saw this, okay? Oh, no, I didn't, actually. The, 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 the Intel Celeron D. <laughs> Best processor ever. Well, <laughs> can apparently be overclocked to 8.2 gigahertz, just so you know. Somebody, somebody did it. That's wild, man. I don't even know why somebody would do that. That's yeah. just to get to 8 gigahertz. I just wanted to show you. I wanted to beat you to an overclocking story. <laughs> it must have been in the Arctic or something. <laughs> um, boy, it's hard to get the size of this thing, but check this out. This is the uh, Conga BM57, and it is 5 inches by 3.7 inches, so approximately this big. Size of a Wi-Fi power harvester. Uh, there you go, exactly. Yeah. And it features, it's a motherboard actually, it has a Core i7 CPU integrated into the motherboard, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 5 PCI Express lanes, and 8 USB ports built into that little mainboard. Hmm. You know what's cool about that? That means what you, you do can, with that. You can put it into like a little, Nvidia, a little mini case, okay. slap it on the back of your TV, and you have a Core i7 computer with a 42 inch display, you know, no it's space. It's it's very, like, very small it's PC. It's like I can slap my TV. Oh man, whatever technology encourages that. All right, if you, if you like that. Um, also, check this out. This is kind of cool. Uh, what was the name of the app that I used to use for the, uh, the touchpad? Is it Touchpad Pro or something like that? Yeah. Now Logitech sure. has 
Logitech Touch Mouse app. And basically, it's the same thing, but it's absolutely free, and it's a kind of like a little gift from Logitech. And so, so you can control any of your, so you can just yeah. use it as a, as a keyboard or a mouse. Right, basic keyboard mouse functionality cool. on your touch, but it's free. It's it saves you three dollars. So All right, it's nice, no big deal. But got a couple quick ones for you here. Uh, firstly, it turns out Netflix subscribers. Netflix is a big company, a lot of subscribers. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Half of Netflix subscribers are now using their online video streaming service. Yeah, I would hope so. so. Uh, and, and you know, obviously, the, they're everywhere now. You can get, you can stream Netflix on Xbox, on your three. straight to your TV, through your PC, straight. You know, uh, Wii is getting it soon. PlayStation has it now. Um, so, how long do you think it is until like? DVDs and and Blu-rays are dead. I don't know, but I, it's I not hope, long, right? I hope soon. It's not. It, it's not long from now, because if half their users are now streaming, the only problem is the selection sucks. You know, it's like, not that bad. The studios keep the really good stuff from being able to be streamed, though. That's just kind of annoying. It's just dumb. Um, also, football, 3D television in the UK. They are uh, actually going to have the opportunity uh, to watch uh, full 3D soccer now, as we would too. Like. Soon, right? What you just heard was our producer's cell phone ringing. That is the least professional thing I have ever seen in my entire <laughs> life. That is absolutely. Oh, we're out, we're out of time. Well, no, oh, we're not. what else you got? <laughs> All right, uh, check this Please. out. This is really cool gameplay footage. This is, uh, you know, this has been seen before. This I'm is a not, game that I want to play. I'm not showing anything that's new here. Anything I'm not really much of cool. a gamer, but this game looks awesome. I just want to show it because it, it it's it's really cool. So you're looking right there. That's 1680 by 1050. Uh, Bad Company 2, and here it is at 5040 by 1050. Which oh, they'll is do super widescreen? Three times the resolution. This is with the, uh, the ATI Affinity system and, okay. and the triple heads to go set up, three monitors okay. broadly put across. That's really cool. That game I, I want to try that. Bad Company 2 looks like it's going to be a good time. It, it is. It probably will be. And uh, one more story, Pioneer. This is something that was announced at CES. That is, that it is, it's one of those harbingers of things to come. Is what I like to call it because uh, it, it, we're about to turn a corner here, and I think a lot of people, you know, they have their they have their iPhones. They, a lot of people have gotten into streaming music mm -hmm. uh, wherever they are. Right. Uh, it, the, only, the only thing is, it's a little more difficult to do it in your car. Right. Not necessarily hard. I mean, no. if you have a, you have a cable in. or whatever, it's not that big of a deal. But Pioneer is actually rolling out an internet connected head unit uh -huh. that has Pandora built right into it. That's cool. So you're going to be able to stream and listen to Pandora uh, over your head unit. I'm not sure exactly how the subscription is going to work for that. That's what I was about to ask you. I have no idea, but it's uh, it's coming. I, and, I and can't so imagine, it, you know, I can't wait. I can't imagine a mobile connection that lets you stream you know, audio like that. They got to go there bad. though. Like they have to. Like they're going to have to figure out because they're not going to be able to it's continue like money. charging you separately for each device that you have to connect to the internet. Because eventually everything's going to be connected. Right. And so they, gonna, yeah. So they got. They're going to have to figure out a way to you know you pay a, you know a one-time fee to get on the internet somehow to everything. Be nice. But uh, yeah. Um, all right. Well, that's I, all I have. By the way, I'm I, done. I'm out. I got one recommendation. I'll I can't show now? you. I got can't show you. Yeah, you can get out no? for sure. I will stay. I'll stay. Oh, it's good. Um. Man, if, if, if there's one thing you see, uh, you watch on the internet, it is this. Watch the epic 22-minute creation of Avatar. Have you seen this? No. Mind-blowingly wild yeah. technology to make this movie. Yeah. Did you know that the entire movie, it, it's not that it's like CGI, it's they actually filmed everything as it happened. And they use a virtual camera. So basically, they, they, they're on a green screen, they have the actors with all these uh, things on them, and they have a virtual camera where the guy's looking through the camera and he doesn't see a green screen and the actors. He sees Pandora with the Navi and it's rendering it in real time while they're filming it. So all the reactions of the people this are blew real. my mind, man. You, you gotta see it. It's called the simulcam. That's really what's going on with this? Yeah, dude, it's... I, 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 I right. watched it and my jaw was dropped. And then um, I have one last thing to leave everybody with. Okay. Um, AMD releases their first Catalyst driver software. Woo! <laughs> Man, I thought you were going to wait for this. I thought you were going to wait until we were back for a little longer before you busted this out. But it's been a while, and I know you guys are not prepared. Uh, Jimmy's sleeping back there, so I know. Oh, that don't he's... worry. It's there, buddy. <laughs> oh, uh, it's there. Latest Catalyst it's all driver being added in post. 10.1 <laughs> is there. Uh, 1500 series cards, a bunch of really cool features. You can just look it up on the web to see it, but definitely oh, update if you have an ATI video I card. I love it when new video card drivers come <laughs> out. It makes it, you know, I'm just happy. I'm glad it happened on a Monday. <laughs> Brightens up my entire week. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to be walking around with a spring in my step and a smile in my heart now. There we go. All right, so we're done.
That's, your, that, that's tech update. Uh, remember, you'll be able to watch it on Facebook first, and then you can find it on YouTube and everywhere else that, that, it, that it goes to, to our hundreds and hundreds of thousands of uh, dedicated fans. We appreciate you uh, coming back after a nice two-month vacation from Tech Update. Yeah. Take it easy. Probably won't see you back here ever again, but it was nice <laughs> to see you back at least once. Anyway.